Hi, I'm Jeremy. I'm AJ. Jack Galpinakis beard at about 10%. Welcome back to the Extraordinary Times. Thank you so much for joining us. Our first story of the day is bath salts again. This time, no crazy person. Well, besides, unless you count President Obama. <laughs> but we, we decided not to, <laughs> not to go into because there are some crazy bath salt stories today. But we're not going to go into those. Instead, we're going to talk about the fact that well, bath salts do crazy things to create uh, to people, making them crazy. And the government has finally noticed this to the point where President Obama has signed a law as of Monday, actually, making it effectively illegal. Um, uh, calling the things that are in it uh, methadrone and MDP, I don't know, scientific terms. Bath salts are now illegal thanks to President Obama, one of the few good things he's done. And uh, yeah, we can actually be safe from zombies. For now, anyways. But we move on to, um, speaking of President Obama, Obamacare, where apparently the, uh, the House has decided to put forward a bill to repeal Obamacare, and of course it's really kind of symbolic because it's not going to get past the Senate because, well, things go to the Senate to die, or to immediately get passed and nobody reads it, but most of the time to die. Apparently five Democrats jumped the aisle and were like, hey, we support repealing Obamacare. And why, do you ask? Because they want to get reelected. Obama could take a page out of their book, personally, uh, especially since he starts uh, doing stuff like this. I, I really don't think he actually wants to be reelected. I think he just wants to go on vacation after this. Uh, he's, oh, he's been on vacation for a lot. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, he's uh, come out and said Hugo Chavez, you know, you know, the president of Venezuela, who really does right. not like us, president of Venezuela, right, <laughs> uh, is not a serious threat. What? <laughs> Venezuela controls a lot of the oil coming into our country, and they don't like us, so, you know, that's a threat. So, um, I, I compare this, of course, to President Bush, you know, petting Saudi Arabian chic by, you know, by his headdress, and, you know, being buddy-buddy and holding hands on Crawford Ranch. Like, that. it's that level of stupid, and I thought that was that level of stupid back then, too, so, you know... I'm not a Republican hack. Most days. But we move on to South Carolina, where a place by the name of Robinson Funeral Home in Easley, South Carolina, will be offering a Starbucks corner of their funeral home. Evidently, they're busy enough in South Carolina, which uh, all retired people going to weird states aside, it's, it's a legitimate business. Honestly, to me, I don't know why this hasn't happened sooner. Like, you know, it's a funeral home. People die every day. People are grieving and need a little pick-me-up or some, you know, calming tea or something all the time. How has this not happened? Now, this won't be like a full-size Starbucks. It won't be like right there when you walk in. And because it's not full-size, they won't have the, the sign up front. But it's there. And on to treasure! In Israel. Go figure. Gold coins have been found. Uh, in uh, like a little pot underneath uh, some uh, slats of wood. The crazy thing being, these are from back in the Crusades. There, there, there's only a little over a hundred gold coins, but uh, yeah, add in the historical value plus the value of the gold, and we're looking at hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of, of gold coins here. Hopefully, not I, only I, that, I think so. Not only that, the historical value is amazing. This is going to give a huge window into you know what the macro scale of economics was back then. You know, so historians can look at this and get a better understanding of then, uh, then and now. And we move on to Idaho, where an Idaho judge has upheld a lawsuit that is being forged against the Spokesman Review, which is a newspaper, by the way, and not really against them, but against some of their commenters who apparently made some disparaging remarks about a Republican Party chairwoman uh, who apparently was so offended that they insinuated that she stuffed her bra with money that they're suing. And apparently that comment being up for two and a half hours before it was taken down by the user himself or herself uh, was so damaging that they have to sue over it. So, you know, if you are almost innocent bystander, Phaedrus, or out-of-state tater, uh, you may want to beware that your uh, stuff is about to get uh, researched. 
And on to Europe. Lapland, Finland, actually, kind of home my ancestors, where some interesting scientific studies have been done on pine trees. They've dug up the, or dragged up these pine trees from uh, fossilized areas of lakes uh, to do ring studies on them, and they have found, through their many investigations, that the world has actually been cooling for the last 2,000 years. Or so. Okay, so basically, to sum it all up, in lakes in Finland, they have pretty much disproved global warming, or at least, you know, the, the, the ma massively damaging effects of it. Um, maybe in the last little bit, the Earth has warmed a little, a uh, little tiny bit, but over the last 2,000 years, that actually evens out and is completely negligible. So, uh, yeah, logic wins. The facts are indisputable. And we jump back across the pond to America, in uh, Philadelphia, actually, where a man was arrested because he, well, he got cut off by another driver, like, you know, you do sometimes. And unlike a lot of drivers, he sped up, got beside the person who cut him off, and he pointed a crossbow at them. This man had a loaded crossbow in his car, to which I say, Mr. Buttersworth, why? You're 44 years old. You should have better things to do with your time than have a loaded crossbow in your car to threaten other drivers with. Apparently, he is being charged with assault, reckless endangerment, and possession of an instrument of crime. To which I actually have to tell the police of Philadelphia, a crossbow is not an instrument of crime. It is a deadly weapon, but it is not an instrument of crime. It is an instrument of killing vampires. So I'm going to go actually load my crossbow in Dawnguard and go kill some vampires, and we will see you guys later. I'm Jeremy. I'm AJ. If you enjoyed this show, click this uh, like button over here and maybe the add two favorites over here. Subscribe if you want us to get better and share us with your friends on Twitter or Facebook or wherever you share things, and these are extraordinary times. Be aware. <laughs> you trolling? Because I loved you. I loved you too. Stop it. <laughs>